Jason Sherry, and I know you know this one. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. We establish yeah. the, the law. law. Mm. So the first thing we're going to do, put it in context. But now, the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. These right here, if you want to get technical, these two right here, whenever you see the law and the prophets, it's talking about the Old Testament. Don't let anybody fool you by saying, oh, he didn't come to destroy the law and the prophets. That means he didn't come to do away with the Old Testament scriptures. That's what that means. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth as a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins <clears throat> that are passed through the forbearance of God to declare, I say at this time, his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus Christ. Where is the boast in thee? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Okay, I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to step back, and I'm going to say, look at this. Everything that he says from 21 all the way to 28 is about faith. Unless Paul is crazy as a Betsy bug, then why in the world would he change what he's already been talking about? But let's keep going. That's right. Is That's right. The God of Jews only. Is he not also the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Seeing it is one God who shall justify by circumcision. Look at here by faith and uncircumcision through faith. So notice faith, faith, law of faith, faith, faith. All this is about faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. No, we establish it. We stand on it. And then the, look at the next chapter. It keeps going on. What shall we say? That Abraham, our father, is pertaining to the flesh? Have found. For if Abraham was justified by works, he hath wherefore the glory, but not before God for what scripture saith. Abraham believed God, and it was counted him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is a reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. So notice, why would Paul talk about faith and the righteousness of God by grace and faith all through here, and then we get to 31, he's going to change the subject. Can I answer that question? Yeah. When it says <laughs> we established the law, what law yep. is he talking about? He's talking about the law of faith, not the law of Moses. They're establishing the law of faith, not the law of Moses. See, you're cutting mm -hmm. yourselves as if that verse works out for you. It doesn't because that's like Brother Brian just showed you in Romans chapter four. He continues to talk about what? The law of faith. He goes yep. into Abraham as an example. I just wanted to throw mm -hmm. that in there. Go ahead, Brother Brian. Well, let's let's look at it a uh, different translation. Look at this right here, the New Living Translation. What does it say? So she right here. See it? it the says, New Living Translation. It says, well, then, if we emphasize faith, does this mean that we can forget about the law? Of course not. In fact, only when we have faith do we truly fulfill what? The law. Mm. I think it's that simple. Mm. 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 So basically, what he's saying, and let's turn it around. Do we then not uh, right here? It says, "Uh, we we'll go to King James. Do we then make void the law of faith? 
No, God forbid. No, we establish the law. How do we establish it? He just told you by faith. He just told you, and you too dumb to even read it. It's that simple. This is not hard. This is reading and understanding what you've read. Let's go to some, like some, you know, you know, A.T. Robinson again. That's who I like. I like to use something with Greek that kind of tells me and breaks down. Nay, we establish the law. Present indicative active of late verb histeno in his demo. This Paul hinted at verse 21. How he will show in the chapter four how Abraham himself is an example of faith. And in his life, illustrates the very point just made besides apart from Christ and the help of the Holy Spirit no one can keep God's law mm. the Mosaic law is only workable by faith in Christ mm. so knowing, knowing he would accuse of antinomianism which that's what Paul's trying to point out here but being against the law, the, for arguing that a man was justified apart from keeping the law, Paul introduced here the defense and later developed in chapter 6 and 7. By this faith, we uphold the law. Salvation by grace through faith does not denigrate the law, but underscores its true importance by providing a payment for the penalty of death, which the law required for failing to keep it. But fulfilling the law's original purpose, which is to serve as a tutor to show mankind his utter inability to obey God's righteous demands and to drive people to Christ, Galatians 3.24 and 3, by giving believers the capacity to obey it, Romans 8.3-4. through 4. And we'll go to the next one. And let's see. Make sure. Okay, okay. And then, of course, we, you know, I just uh, copy some established. So I'm thinking that one may be off. Oh, boy. Here we go. We'll stop. We'll, you know, we can talk about this uh, 331 this year if you want to. But we know what's next. Right, right. We already know. Uh, do we make void the law through faith? God forbid we establish the law. Um, uh, so again, context is key. Okay. Be careful. These people standing out here in the streets and just quoting you one verse and not giving you no context because without the context, they can put add whatever they can make the word of God say what they wanted to say. Right. They can add whatever they want to add in there. Uh, Roger Rabbit was back there with Jesus and they had a whole conversation and we's Israel. And, you know, um, he's the God of us only right here in uh, Romans 329. And Roger Rabbit said that to Jesus. Y you see what I'm saying? Now, of course, they wouldn't throw the Roger Rabbit in there, but they're going to use other verses that you might be familiar with or stuff that you may be unfamiliar with. But here's the thing. Let me say something. Now, this is going to prick you. If you say that you are a Bible believer and you read in your Bible, there should be nothing in here that you are really, truly unfamiliar with. I know, I understand about the deep study and you can find new things. That's true. But the question is, are you reading your Bible? Because if you are reading your Bible, them folk going to have a hard time with you. And notice this, when they have a hard time with you, they don't want to talk to you no more. You show that you know your Bible and you can't be tricked. It Same thing with the Jehovah Witnesses. Well, let us get your information and we'll come back next week and we can continue our Bible study. Not 10 times out of 10, they ain't coming back. 
okay? Uh, Mormons, they do it too, riding on their cute little bikes, and then they, they find out that you know your Bible. Oh, okay, well, let us leave you here with this little brochure, and we're going to keep it pushing. Let us get out, and you, okay, we're going to recognize your face, make sure we don't bump into you again. Hebrew Israelites, what do they do? Scream you away, cuss you away, push you down, all of this other stuff, ignorant, and because and, they don't want to deal with you. Why? Because you know the scriptures. I have no clue, uh, uh, Brother Brian, to answer your question. I <laughs> listen. Um, that that's what they do. Y'all have seen plenty of videos of them, especially when they run across a person that know that Greek, that know that Hebrew, or know that Aramaic, and they don't even have to go into all of that. You know your Bible in the English. You know in context. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You you got a spirit on you, bro. You got a spirit on you, sis. You a Jezebel. Blah, 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 blah. You know, why? That's to shun you off because, again, and, and here's another factor of it. They like to record stuff, right? But when they get stomped out on the street with the scriptures, right, what ends up happening? They cut it out. Yeah, they cut it out. That's why, why you think when G-Man is out there, he got his own what? He got his own phone to record the content. Because if he leave it to the Hebrew Israelites, they not going to play those parts. They going to cut stuff out. IUIC does it all the time. Mm -hmm. ISUPK, all of them do it. Listen, even right here, uh, 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 look what happened with Brother Vocab a few months ago when he came up on um, on uh, Soto Mines a uh, platform with G-Con. Had G-Con and them, uh, 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 the, some of the brothers and sisters had not recorded that, he would have been able to what? Lie. See? So you got to have your proof, cover your behind. Don't trust them because they lying and sliding already. So don't trust them to give people the full of uh, 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 the full video footage. They going to cut that out because they got to make themselves look what? They got to put on a show. They got to look good, you know, with you know with all of their little theatrics and foolishness and and then make it seem like they in something, but they not. You like, "Wait a minute. That didn't go down like that." That, that didn't happen. What happened to the part where I was at? They cut you out. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you gave them the truth of God and they don't want people to see what? They don't want them to see both sides. They don't want them to hear both sides. Mm -hmm. So they cut those parts out. Don't trust these people. Don't mm -hmm. trust them. I'll tell a Hebrew is like that to their face. Right there, I'll say the very same thing that I just said to y'all in front of their face. Do not trust a Hebrew Israelite on nothing. Why? Yep. Because they lie. They whisper. Whisper in the dark and all this other stuff. Whispering in between sheets and sliding down the street like Power Rangers. Really? You gonna trust that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Go ahead, Brother Brian. I'm sorry. I'm done. All right. We, uh, uh, well, well, you know where we at. Oh, Lord. it said, Matthew, think not that I've come to destroy the law. Notice, I, I pointed this out earlier. The law and the prophets is Old Testament scriptures. Mm -mm. Stop right there. That's it. No, this mean. right here, this is what they're looking at. They are, they are just ignoring this. They mm -hmm. do not. When you, this is, this right here ought to be half common sense. Know that this right here is talking about all the Old Testament scriptures, which he didn't. Mm -hmm. He didn't come to destroy them. Mm -hmm. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Mm -hmm. For verily I say to you, to heaven and earth pass, pass one jot. Or one tittle and shall in no wise pass from the law mm -mm. till all be fulfilled. Mm -mm. Whosoever shall breaketh one of these least commandments shall teach me, and so he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But whosoever shall <coughs> to do and teach them, the same shall be great in the kingdom of heaven. So you know, if my I thought the whole point was getting to the kingdom of heaven. So, you know, anyway. You should have put that <laughs> verse 20 up in there because they can't stand that verse 20. 
Mm -mm. They I mad. thought I did. I must have erased it. Go, go back. Go back. Let me show you what they do. Go I erased back. it. I erased mm -hmm. it. Uh, uh, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. That's where a Hebrew, my uh, Hebrew Israelites mind stops at. They ignore. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. They don't want to be bothered with that. They act like it's not even that. Even if they do read it, it don't mean nothing to them. And then the uh, uh one jot a tittle shall not pass away um from the law till all be fulfilled, right? They'll read that. Well, right? hold up, sister. Let me ask you a question on that one. Okay. Don't, don't they say that sacrifices are done? Yeah, that's all Jesus came and fulfilled. So isn't that 